Okay, good uh, still morning. Good morning. Um, Edward Tumine is my name once again, and it's a pleasure to facilitate uh, this next session on content aggregation and curation. Uh, just to provide context, we have looked uh, previously uh, writing for online internet search strategies and all these, um, of course, writing for online involves content creation. How are you going to create content that can be appealing for online? And uh, throughout this session, we are going to see um, alternative ways of how you can still uh, be relevant and create appealing content for, pe uh, for audience people who intend to access your content and even other people out there. So I'd like to request for your maximum participation as we learn together and what uh, aggregation and curation means in writing for online. So as we begin, I'd like to ask um, these questions. Um, what is the, list, the latest on each of these topics and where uh, we can find uh, that information? So to begin with oil in Uganda, what is the latest on oil in Uganda and where can I find that information? Can still unmute or put it in the chat. Oil in Uganda, where can we find the latest information about this? Parliament. Parliament. Okay. okay. Oil my district. You can you can find it. On Sinoc mm. website. Sinoc website, eh? Okay. Yeah. Great. What of uh, the budgeting process in Uganda? Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance. You see other submissions. Rita says, Hoima Obunyoro region, that's for oil, I want to presume. Then Uganda launched its oil drilling. Okay. Out of biotechnology in Uganda. Anyone with an idea? Okay, what about uh, information about Chibuli? Chibuli town. If you wanted to know the latest information regarding uh, Chibuli town or is Chibuli a town? What is it? Okay, Rita says Ministry of Health for Biotechnology. You can, then for Chibuli, you can find it at the Match India Division site. Because it's a suburb of Kampala, so. Okay, thank you. Technology and innovation in Uganda. Yeah. Technology then that is means of ICT. Means of ICT. Great. And lastly, climate change. Disasters. Prepared. 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 Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rita Father says budget in Ministry of Finance and budgeting. Great. Thank you for sharing the submissions. Um, throughout this, we're going to see how uh, this session, how we can get uh, latest information on each of these topics, how you can actually even add more value, finding different content online, and even the able to attain when we're looking at how to search the internet effectively, uh, able to, to complement you in your, in your curation and aggregation of content on any topic. So which leads us now to our topic of the day, which is content aggregation and curating. So I'd like to request uh, what you understand by uh, these two terms, aggregation and curating. 
can begin with aggregation. And would like to share with us what they understand by the term aggregation. The word aggregation comes from the word aggregate. Do you know what to aggregate means? Okay. I want to try. Yes, Isaac. Go ahead. Uh, content aggregation is the collecting of related data and then display it in one location. Yes, thank you, very true. Um, collecting that grouping uh, content together based on particular keywords or topics and availing it on one platform. Thank you. And then uh, curating. Curating is actually a term from the uh, field of art. Okay, uh, Nantongo Zoraika says curating is like selecting, yes. Okay, that's one good uh, key component of it. So uh, curating, content, yes, content go ahead. curating is the gathering of information related to a specific topic in an area of interest. Yes, thank you. So you gather content uh, in a specific area of interest and uh, as we'll see later, you also add value to it so that uh, you improve it and it, uh, more relevant uh, based on your audience personas and, and, and how you see that uh, the information is on demand and needed. Great, so as we con uh, let us continue. So we looked at uh, yesterday, searching the internet and one of the key reasons why we actually were putting emphasis on why we should do that is because information on the internet um, is quite much. So we need to see how, that's why we saw how important it is to, to search exactly for the things that you want and get them in the shortest time possible. So getting information from the internet is like drinking from a fire hydrant. You want to get something and you're loaded with so many results. So how best can you find information grouped together? How best can you group information so that it's easy and found in one place uh, for people who need it based on that keyword or that search query. And furthermore, information overload can be overwhelming. You, you, you search for something and you get millions of results. And that's why it's important as journalists, uh, we are able to and even furthermore information because you're making it easy for people to find information that they are looking for in one central place and even with value addition as we shall look at later as you have done to it to improve it at best uh, on your expertise and even the audience persona. So uh, there we have three types of content um, online. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, content that is created, okay? And then we have uh, aggregated content and then also curated content. So uh, creation of uh, created content is, is content that you begin from scratch. So this is all your original content that you develop. Uh, you write down your own text, uh, you take your own pictures, you go to a location, take pictures, record videos, uh, record audios, and then you're able to put them all into an article. So you're creating all that content from scratch and availing it uh, to, for, for consumption online and mobile from scratch. Then uh, we further have here content aggregation, and I would like to request uh, someone to read for us content here on this slide. Hello. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, content aggregation. All right. All right, content aggregation is uh, compiling information on any topic for one or more related keywords and publishing them in one platform, website or blog. It is automated um, and collects information exclus uh, exclusively based on keywords. Aggregation yes. is like 
Aggregation is like simply gathering seeds together, which machine or birds can do. Yes, thank you. So like our colleague had rightly stated before, um, you compile uh, information on any topic based on any on any keyword and you're able to publish that in uh, on one platform in one central location so that whoever is interested in information on that particular keyword can find it there. And um, if we look at uh, some, we have some country content aggregator websites that we can have a look at here. Um, it is uh, news.google.com and share this in the chat so that you can have a look at this yourself. Okay, so this is an example of an aggregator website and uh, these are the different topics. Or keywords that uh, people are interested in or that you can find here on, uh, on this site. So for example, if I come here to business, uh, you'll find that it has brought um, different uh, information and articles on business from different websites. So whichever websites are publishing on business, uh, this news Google is able to aggregate all those stories on business and avail them on this platform. So if you come here and you want to know the business stories that are trending around the world from different news sources, you'll find them here. Okay, come here to technology. Same thing. You'll see the publications are different. We have this from the insider, Sparrow News. So uh, this, um, it isn't down the work. Remember that when where we looked at information overload and even it can be overloading from a fire hydrant. So here, if you came here and you went to technology, you know that you'll find um, good information uh, from about technology from different websites around the world. So this is one, uh, one area that uh, you as a journalist or any news entity that you're working with can delve into to aggregate content on any keyword or topic of interest. There are other uh, key, sorry, other aggregator websites. Um, we have here uh, news.yahoo.com as well. It does the same thing. I can share this in the chat as well. So just like Google News, it's able to aggregate content based on different keywords and topics, and you find them here. For example, climate change. I remember one of the questions uh, that I asked of where we can find the latest information. So we have here climate change. So any anything about climate change from different news agencies, you're able to get it here. Yeah, I hope that is clear with uh, content aggregation. Proceed. Okay, the same as uh, this site, uh, newsnow.uk, it also helps to aggregate information on different topics and it even does sports. So it gives you a, hot, uh, a list of different uh, keywords and topics that they have aggregated that you can really get in depth information from different news websites. Same as All Africa, have, have we, has anyone accessed All Africa previously? or uses this uh, for, for their news. It helps to aggregate uh, topics on, on different African countries, what is trending in different African countries and you're able to find information there. Okay, so we have some tools uh, that can uh, able to assist you in uh, content aggregation, for example, Alto, Flipboard and Mixcom, and we can look at one of these. Uh, that is uh, Flipboard. Copy the link. As Flipboard loads, uh, does anyone have any question in regards to aggregation? 
So you're able to create a sign up for an account here on Flipboard and you can begin uh, staying informed on different topics and it's able to aggregate according to your interests. Okay. For example, uh, they also have different topics here. So keywords and topics, technology, travel, And on each, uh, so you need to sign up and then you're able to save this uh, onto your Flipboard magazine and all information regarding that you'll be able to get, okay? So you're also even able to share uh, any uh, from any of these topics and share to people on social media and even a link that you can generate, share in your different uh, online networks. So you can explore these, uh, sign up, on Flipboard and you're able to create an aggregator account. Is aggregating uh, content aggregation clear to us as we proceed? Can put yes, in it is. Let's see someone in the chat. Great, let's proceed. So how, how would you want to create, uh, in case you want to create your own content aggregator website with WordPress, uh, you will need, uh, first of all, uh, to upgrade from a free that we created to, and uh, you'll also have to add in this W, what the WordPress RSS aggregator plugin so that it can enable you to aggregate content based on different keywords and you know, they're able to be availed on one central platform on your blog or website. So uh, further continuing uh, uh, content, let us now look at content curation. Someone to read for us below here what content, what curation is. Curation, curation is like sorting seeds out, putting them into context, framing them so that they make sense. Yes. Father, uh, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Content, content. Is one that derives the act of finding, grouping, organizing, or sharing the best and most relevant content on a specific issue. Yes. So. By Rahid. Oh yeah, that's. I need to read the, the below. Yes. So curation involves, uh, first of all, um, the skill of finding the best uh, con uh, content on a particular topic organizing it well, uh, making sure it makes sense and also adding value to it. Beyond what you find, uh, you need to uh, also put in your expertise as, as a journalist in any particular field or as a professional in any, in any particular field and add value to it. And uh, this could be through uh, different videos, explanations and even context that you can provide on that particular issue. So we, uh, of course, aggregation is good but we encourage for journalists to, to move and look further into curation because that's where the real value and is. How, how well can you improve content that you find? How can you add your own mix and spin to it to ensure that when someone reads it and, and is, is con consuming this content, they can really find value. And that is where uh, you, you build your expertise as a professional, as a journalist in any area that you are covering about. Yes, someone to read for us what's on this, uh, the text on the slide. Mm, uh, before, excuse me, before we continue any further, I, yes, I want to ask content, content curation, yeah? Mm. Is it like the process of collecting and analyzing data to mm. come up with the meaningful information? Yes, so when, yes, when you collect the data, you analyze it uh, because you'll find that you um, look at further that you get information from probably various sources. So one process in curation is analyzing to see the best uh, information from all those different sources. So after analyzing it, then how, how, how are you going to add value to it? So yes, you're very correct. It's also a process of curation, gathering content, analyzing it and also improving it so that uh, and adding your own niche and expertise to it so that it makes more sense and relevance to people. Is it okay now? 
Yes, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Someone else to read for us uh, text on this slide. Content creation is now a necessity for content creators looking to keep up with the demanded with the demand for content, but sometimes people don't know where to start because they don't have any good content creation examples to go off. Yes. Google so December 2020 core update rolling out. A core update began rolling out on December 3rd. The first we have we have we have seen in seven months. Look for future analysis from Moz. Two. The, the correlation between author, authoritative links and ranking, bracket CEO study. Eric Ng's multi-year study spotlights link authority versus quantity with excellent data. Yes, so thank you. Today, our content curation is a necessity or required of probably of almost every a content creator today because uh, many of, of the info, the topics or the information that we are writing about has already been previously published or written about. So the skill that um, you need to have or what curation involves is how can you find information on this topic from different sources online and then uh, improve it. Okay, And that is the whole essence. How can you improve and add value to it? How, how, how can you add in perspective of different people who are also even knowledgeable in this kind of topic? So that skill of, anal of analysis, uh, value addition is, is very key for any content creator today. And uh, you will see that today, uh, some of the big, biggest uh, content creators online today are really curating content, all because they're able to analyze and uh, add value to the content that they find. Okay, so these are some of our sites that curate content. Uh, we have uh, the Independent, Ganda, then also our site, uh, our training uh, site, which is Ultimate Multimedia Training. Just to show an example here of uh, some of our curated content. So this is an article on uh, fact checking and verification tools and practices. We looked at this yesterday, how we can fact check and verify information so uh, the writer of this article um, was able to to search online for for the different um, different information about uh, fake news and information verification okay how to combat and uh, there was also value addition added in this uh, first of all by providing context if you see the text this is a, a write-up of um, different write-up of what fake fact checking is all about so beyond what you find online, how can you add in your own expertise in that information that you find? Okay, the value addition um, be adding images. Okay, so you search online for relevant images or even design. Okay, you're able if you're able to design a graphic that can uh, summarize uh, what what uh, false fake news is, and you add it into that article. Then you're adding value to it so that when someone finds this they're able to really get well grounded and understand what uh, fake news is all about. Then uh, all, all this is information now from different, different sources that you're, that you're bringing to context about fake news. I'm sure we watched this video yesterday that was helping to, to, to understand what this information is. Then you're also able to add in different other elements like uh, graphics that help to explain uh, videos, and that can now show how you can fact check uh, different things. So when someone finds this kind of article, it's a comprehensive article on fake news, and you have gathered information from different sources online, added value to it, and uh, someone who is accessing this content really uh, reads and goes away uh, with a good understanding of what um, fact checking and verifying information is all about. Proceed. Okay, so even uh, Compass Times, uh, our, one of our websites here where we publish information on uh, different universities and information. So you're also able to go there, find content that has been sourced from different 
our websites online and also added value to. So we have here the process of, uh, of curation. Uh, so first, uh, curation begins with seeking information from various what? sources. And uh, you see that uh, with curation and even it, 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 it's a combination of the different skills that you are uh, able to, to get. Sorry, my connection had gone off. I hope I'm clear back now. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, process of curation. What does it involve? Uh, so we saw um, it begins by seeking. How, how do you search for information from various sources? And we looked at uh, the other day how to search the internet effectively. So. How are you able to get information from different sources in the shortest period of time? And then um, after seeking information, then now we go to the sensing. Someone mentioned this even uh, earlier, the analysis. So first you begin by aggregating, uh, you get that information based on that topic, uh, bring it together. And then now you start distilling. In distilling, you're, you're, you're finding the most relevant and the most appropriate content that you think uh, people would uh, would appreciate from that from that topic because every topic is written on about uh, quite a number of things. So, what do you want to get from all this information that you have sought out for? So, there's this distilling process. Then the elevation. Elevation is the how are you uplifting? How are you adding value to it? Okay, are you adding in videos? Are you adding in your own write up, your own context uh, based on your expertise of that topic? Then mashup. Okay, mashup is how you you're able to to add in the different components of that that particular that particular topic. Are you able to to bring in uh, experts on that issue? Okay, you're able to bring in different sources. So adding in also people who want content that is relevant to to this topic and even experts on that uh, particular topic or keyword that you are curating is important. Then the chronology. When you get information from different sources, don't present it as the way it has been. Provide it in the best arrangement of the way so that when someone is going through it, it's making sense to them. And then uh, lastly, uh, sharing. Sharing is very important. After you have sought, you have sensed, then how you need to now share so that your, your, your curated information can reach as many people as possible. And this involves sharing in social, social media, and WhatsApp, any platform where you can share so that people can also benefit from the content that you've created and even be able to give you tips on probably how you can uh, curate better this content. And also it helps to improve the shelf life of this topic because as more people are accessing it, then other people who are knowledgeable probably can build on what you have curated as well. Any question regarding uh, this? process of uh, curation or any supplement. All right, we can proceed. So now here come the values of content curation um, to request once again, someone who hasn't yet read to read for us what's on this slide. Hence comes the values of content creation. Value number one, curation reduces information overload by providing filtered information. Yes, I hope this is clear. We have looked at the process of curation. There's distilling, which is filtering from all that information you've sought. How do you, how are you able to find the most uh, important and relevant information from it? Next.
Curation brings clarity to chaos by making sense of information. Yes. How do you want to expound on this? Anyone who would like to, yes? Through content creation, remember this is the process where data is analyzed before making it meaningful information. Meaning, information is going to be sorted and arranged in the way it, in the way it, in the way by it's suitable to be read or to be delivered to the audience. Thank you for that explanation. Someone else to read uh, Bali number three. Yeah, volume number three. Uh, correction extends the shelf life of information. Yes, care to to share with us what this could mean, or how you understand this. Um, uh, no, 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 no. All right, anyone, anyone who would to give an attempt oh, perhaps, to help? Yeah, oh, sure, perhaps, okay, perhaps uh, the, it, uh, it may mean uh, the, Okay, the information that you, you, okay, the story or something that you write about, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it would have uh, clarity, something like that. Yeah, that's all I think. Okay, good attempt, Ibrahim. Anyone else would like to explain what uh, extension of shelf life of information? Okay, so basically, yes. I, I think what mm. I mean is curation extends, extends the shelf life of information is the more you keep, the more you keep exploring about a particular subject, the mm. more you get, the more you generate other ideas and other mm. topics on yes. the thing you're you're searching about. So this mm. keeps on generating more and more. That's what I think. Yes, thank you, Aisha. So the more you write on a topic, you're, 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 you're further increasing, the more you create on a topic, you're further increasing inform, uh, information about it, uh, providing different context about it. So then that, con that, that, that topic will further be improved and, and more people can find information about it. So you're increasing its shelf life and uh, giving it different angles that people can uh, uh, read and find value from it. Uh, next, someone to read for us here. For curators, curation is an efficient way to build knowledge, skills, thought leadership and network. For organizations, curation helps build staff expertise, improve funding and increase impact. Do you want to explain to us what you understand from this? Or anyone would like to share with us what they understand from these points? Hello? Okay, so when you are curating on any topic, um, first of all, you need to do research because we saw, as uh, Aisha previously had just said, you're, you're analyzing, you're distilling, so you, you have to do the research. And uh, through this, you're, 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 you're gaining expertise and finding more relevant information on this topic. So you're building your knowledge base and uh, with time, even your value addition, you're going to become a thought leader in that particular topic. Because the more you research on it, 
able to add value, able to mash it up with uh, context from different experts and even online sources, then you're building your expertise in that. So it's important uh, as a journalist, you need to have areas or, or topics or content that you can curate about so that you are known for this, uh, you're, you're known as a thought leader in this particular area. And this is how you build your profile. Uh, and uh, you're invited and uh, consulted on different topics because of how much uh, value addition and curation you've done to different topics. So uh, this is a really important area that you can really uh, grow your skill all from your searching the internet skills, analysis and value addition that you can add to any topic. Someone else to read what's on this slide. Aggression without cur aggression without curation is normally not very helpful for journalists. Curation creates the brand. Content content aggression supplements content aggression supplements your content offering by providing more information on your specific niche. Its core value to your brand is limited because it lacks original commentary. Content creation goes deeper than content aggression to help sow the seeds for your brand development and long-term value. Thank you. Would you like to share what you understand from this? What do you get from the information on this slide? Or anyone else would like to share? Uh, I think content aggression gives more details and content about what you're writing about what about the details. Sorry, I think content aggression supplements. Okay, adds value, adds information and details to to your niche what you're writing about your beat. Yeah, and- Content uh, curation. Yeah. yeah, and the content aggression and curation work hand in hand, like it's, it's necessary. Mm. Okay, thank you, Abiba. Yes, so aggregation, content aggregation um, uh, is good, but we are saying that uh, for, for to be really uh, the brand, to build a brand and really be resourceful, it's better to do uh, content curation because content curation is deeper than aggregation. Remember, aggregation is said is, is bringing together information based on the keyword or topic and availing it there. So you don't improve it, you don't add your own expertise and value addition. Whereas with curation, you go deeper than that. Uh, you find information on that particular word or topic, and then you're able to improve it, provide context, wash it up, and also put, put it in, arrange it in the best way possible so that it's relevant to the people who are accessing it. Okay, so we want to look at here briefly the content curation versus aggregation. So someone to read uh, for us um, elements on the table, each of them. Use a content curation and content aggregation. Mm. Uses editorial expertise to select content. Content creation to content. Oh, sorry, you can go ahead. The person was reading. Use editorial expertise to select content. Uh, then content aggregation discovers content from different sources. Mm -hmm. uh, and enhances other people's content, AKA OPC with commentary, cast based content. Uh, content creation composes original headlines. Aggregation classifies information into pre-established order. Uh, distinguishes content to attract attention. Aggregation organizes results systematically based on product, company, and brand. Content creation publishes content on regular schedule. Content aggregation publishes information when available. 
Okay, is there any point here that uh, you need further emphasis on, explanation? And the differences between uh, curation and aggregation? And the second point on curation, OPC is other people's content, just for clarity. Is this table clear to everyone? Yes. Okay. So now we want to look at um, good curation and bad curation. How, how are you able to be a good, uh, good curator? So good curation owners content, okay? When you find uh, good content from this particular source, it's always good to own and even attribute as we have seen previously on the session on writing for online and mobile. Then good curation uh, involves um, studying. When you find, remember we looked at curation, looks at analysis and, and distilling information. So when you find, when, you, uh, when you're seeking information from different sources, you need to study through it so that you're able to, to, to select out the best relevant rather than skimming through because there you're not giving it the much needed attention that is required for you to add a good value to it. Then good curation uh, involves getting information from different sources, okay? One good element of writing is multi-sourcing. You need to find as many people who can contribute, who are knowledgeable in that, in that a particular topic that you can curate on and add value to, to that area. Then credit, please uh, credit, credit sources, your sources of information, it is no harm in crediting. We looked at this previously in writing for online and even the web, you can credit through hyperlinking and even also crediting authors of where you're getting this different content. Then transform, it, transform versus imitate, okay? Uh, curation uh, involves uh, mashing up, okay? How, 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 how are you able to transform that information that you've got and make it valuable for, for someone accessing it? Are you able to add in relevant videos, graphics, or any other complementary media you feel would provide good context to that topic? Okay, then remixing, this is more in line uh, with chronology. How are you presenting this information in the, in the format or in order, in a way that uh, it makes sense to someone rather than just cutting and pasting from different sources and presenting it there? Okay, is any question any question regarding a good curation and bad curation? Anything we could have missed out that you want to add? Okay, let's proceed. Someone to read for us the relevance here. It's on this slide. Relevancy. Are you selecting topics based on your audience needs? May I appear putting your interests ahead of your audience's information? Information informational needs is something all content creators have to be constantly aware of. Putting your interest ahead. Preparing and updating your audience personas is the best way to avoid wasting uh, wasting your time creating content on topics your audience doesn't care about. Okay. Yes, it's important as a, a, good, a good curator always knows uh, the kind of topics or things that people are searching about. Okay, in search in optimization, we looked at uh, one tool, uh, Google Trends, uh, that helps you to know the, in, the level of interest of um, different search topics. So these, all these skills that we and, and sessions that we're having are interrelated. They help to complement you in, in, in further different topics. Now like curation, you're able to know how to search the internet effectively to source for information on, on that particular topic. But furthermore, 
like, like Google Trends, you're able to know what people are searching about the most. And these help you as help to inform you as a curator to know what, what content or topics that you can uh, curate on the best. And uh, if you looked at here, uh, audience personas know what, what, what people are searching about, their interests, are they searching more about movies? Then you can, you can curate anything about uh, movies, search for the latest movies, how can you add value to, to, to that different topic so that uh, you build relevance and become a thought leader in that topic uh, based on real time statistics of what people are searching and interested in. Then uh, this next slide, someone to read for us what's here. Are you integrating your own content that summarizes key ideas and lessons? Enhance value of the content by adding your own perspective to, to original content. Highlight and, highlight and summarizing the most important ideas and providing examples of how your market can put the ideas to work. Add value and provide a deeper content experience by cross-referencing curated topics to other online res resources or perspectives. What do other experts on the topic have to say? Yes, I think we've been emphasizing this ever since we were looking at uh, the aspect of curation, adding value. It's very, if you don't add value to, to that topic, then you're doing bad curation. You're just cutting and pasting. You need to be able to find ways of how you can make uh, that content more relevant. Either it could be through different media elements uh, that you can add in or even your own expertise. Yes, someone to read this as well. Distribution channel to reach as much of your audience as possible. I recommend distributing your curated content on multiple channels, starting, sorry, start small with a couple of channels. Find the most relevant content delivered to you automatically in one place. Machine learning adapts to your content preferences, enables crowdsourcing, filters content that's out of date in other languages or duplicative. Curate, update your content production workflow in minutes. Assist SEO efforts free royalty images, review hundreds of articles in under 20 minutes a day, share, publish and promote to all your channels with one click, schedules and templates, blog, newsletters, link, I think LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. You could even make quick YouTube videos with your top five picks of the week. Yes, this uh, goes on to further emphasize what we have been talking about, uh, finding, sourcing for information on that topic, curating about it, and also sharing. Then uh, uh, also we, we looked at this um, when we were looking at 21st century skills. What, what 21st century journalism practice should encompass. We looked at some of these uh, job positions that NBS was uh, looking for. And uh, as you can see, uh, they're also were looking for a lead content curator. So these, these kind of skills are actually highly sold for in today's um, news and media industry where many um, media firms are now utilizing these digital spaces and want more people who are skilled in these kinds of, of things like content curation. So build your profile, build your persona, find areas that you can curate and add value to so that you're highly marketable and can also build a brand for yourself. So as we come to the end, I hope it's now clear how uh, we are able to find uh, information on any of these uh, topics and also how you can also add value to them. If you combine your skills of searching the internet and uh, of course, reading on a topic, and providing more context from different experts, then you should be able to, to find any information and, and curate on about it. 
briefly as we summarize some to read for us this quote from Robin Good. The key element that makes curation works is the competence and focus of the curator and the topic he or she has selected. Repeated efforts to create curated channels that mix and match broad and highly competitive topics are bound to see a very short life. Robin Good, Master of Content Creation. Yes, so what is your, what skill level do you have on that topic that you are curating about, okay? You need to have a good level of competence that you can, so that you are able to add value to that, to that topic, so that you avoid a mere fact of just cutting or copying and what, and pasting. Yes, I'm going to read this as well. Are you ready to you be a curator? Those who can curate, those who those can't who review, mm -hmm. those who can't review, tweet, those who can't tweet, retweet. Beth Cantor, expert on using technology at nonprofits. Yes, so we're saying that, uh, of course, we'd encourage everyone to curate, but if you cannot create, at least be involved in the, pro in the process of analyzing. Yeah? or reviewing, then if you can't review, at least you can do what? <laughs> you can tweet. And at the very least, if you cannot tweet, you do what? You retweet. So you need to be involved at, at, at least at different stages of curation. But uh, of course, we'd recommend that each one of us is able to be a, a content curator so that you can all build our individual brands. And uh, this entire presentation is an example of curated content. This content has been sought for from different sources, from different people, and is regularly uh, added value to people. keep adding in most uh, update content, relevant images and examples to suit the kind of audience that you shall be uh, meeting at that particular time. So curation is an ongoing process and, uh, it, and uh, the more you curate, the more you Build skills and expertise in that particular topic, increasing shelf life of it, and also becoming more knowledgeable and a thought leader in that particular area. Any questions regarding curation or aggregation? Any questions? Okay, if not, thank you so much for your active participation. At this moment, I would like to invite my colleague, Haman, to take us through multimedia storyboarding. Have a good afternoon.